We are learning more about an explosive allegation linking the parent company of Fox News to an effort to help Rudy Giuliani get elected president. New scrutiny tonight of the long relationship between Giuliani and top News Corp executives, including Rupert Murdoch and Roger Ailes. It comes in the wake of that federal lawsuit filed late yesterday by a top book publisher alleging that News Corp executives encouraged her to lie in a federal investigation of Giuliani loyalist Bernard Carrick, an investigation that might have made public serious questions about Giuliani's judgment. Today campaigning in Iowa, Giuliani tried to ignore the issue. I don't respond to the story at all. I, have, I, have, I don't know anything about it, and uh, it sounds to me like a kind of a gossip column story, more than a real story. Last thing in the world you want to do when you're running for president is respond to gossip column type stories. Except that as a lawyer, Giuliani should know this lawsuit is not a gossip column. The allegations about potentially corrupt acts by executives at News Corp is serious business. It's gossipy that the publisher, Judith Regan, was having an affair with Carrick. But it's criminal if News Corp execs told her to lie about it. Joining me now, Wayne Barrett, who's written two important books about Giuliani, Air America host Rachel Maddow, former Fox News producer Charlie Rena, now a contributor to Huffington Post, and Republican strategist Jack Berkman, a one-time contributor to Fox News. Thanks to all of you. Appreciate it. All right, Rachel, we hear so much about the so-called left-wing media. What is a story about a major media company and a leading Republican candidate tell you? Well, this is, this is the right-wing media conspiracy that people have been salivating for for a long time, I think. Rudy Giuliani officiated at Roger Ailes' wedding. Fox News has been very favorable toward Giuliani's candidacy. Judith Regan, as part of that company, if she had some horrific details about her relationship with Bernie Carrick, Bernie Carrick and Giuliani, that would have screwed up his campaign, and Fox leaned on her to cover it up, that's a right-wing conspiracy that the left has been kind of waiting for for a long time. Charles, you worked at Fox News for seven years. You've written about it from the inside. I mean, this is a serious allegation. The, the notion that there may be an almost a conspiracy out there, believable to you? Oh, yes, definitely believable. Six years, by the way. I was there only six. I don't want them to attack me. Uh, the, <laughs> the fact that I'm uh, misleading you about the number of years I worked there, it was six. Um, no, it doesn't shock me um, at all. Uh, it's a network run by a political operative, Roger Ailes, is a Republican operative, always was. His loyalty is to the Republican Party. And for anyone to even imagine that he would not use this powerful uh, venue, that is to say Fox News Channel, to um, uh, bring about uh, a Republican uh, victory, right. to okay. support the Republicans, they'd have to be well, crazy. Wayne, again, this is so serious. And again, I, I say that because it is a crime if a News Corp executive told someone to lie in the context of a federal investigation. Well, the lawsuit actually says the two did. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, and it, it's, it's so serious, but yet the relationships do go back. Let's put aside the, the criminal side of it for a minute. Bring us up to date on sort of the relationships between Giuliani and Ailes over well, the years. I think the most important thing, and it's a very deep personal relationship, but the most important thing is that Rudy Giuliani delivered the New York market to Fox News Channel when Roger Ailes created back in 1996 because there was litigation. A federal judge ruled against Fox getting this additional channel, and Rudy essentially forced Time Warner, which had the city franchise awarded by the city, to grant this additional channel to Fox, without which they wouldn't have become the top news channel. So is it possible that he would be so indebted to him that he would want to mandate or at least encourage a Giuliani presidency? Well, I don't think there's any question but that Roger Ailes is for Rudy Giuliani for president. I, I think you all have to do is look at the channel and if you can figure that out. I mean, there are totally legitimate journalists who work at Fox who cover the thing fairly. But generally, I mean, Sean Hannity leers at the man when he's on the show with him. It's, I, it would be sexual harassment if it was a female person appearing on the show. I mean, it's just it, it, to well, watch you, Sean Dan, Hannity I, who actually introduces him at fundraiser. Here's a piece of sound of Sean I, Hannity introducing Rudy Giuliani. Let's give a warm Cincinnati welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a guy that was a hero on 9-11, former New York City Mayor Rudy Giuliani.
All right, Jack Berkman, look, you can't deny that there are a lot of connections between Giuliani and Fox News, but that, I guess, is very different from the allegations here, which are saying that the, the, the connections go way beyond just friendship. Well, sure, Dan, but you have to remember, you're right, but the, the connections have nothing to do with the allegations. I mean, sure, uh, Giuliani knows Roger Ailes. Sure, Roger Ailes is a Republican, but none of that has anything to do with the allegations at hand. I mean, look, I, I was at Fox in the 90s. I was there. I can tell you, yeah, I don't particularly like News Corp, but I can tell you they're getting a raw deal here. They're getting a very raw deal Why? here. Ju Judith Regan has a long history. It goes way back beyond the O.J. Simpson book. She hates News Corp from the 90s. When they canceled her weekend show, she never got what she she wanted from them. She wanted to be one of their big primetime stars. They would never do it. She has been simmering and festering and simmering and festering. And I'll tell you something else. I don't know. I'm not familiar with the financial situation, but I can tell you, after the OJ debacle, my guess is she's got some financial needs as but well. That may be. But, but Rachel, look, her lawyer is saying that they've got they've got evidence, and there was a report that came out in July about her possibly having audio tapes. Right. Um, so this this may not just be her sort of throwing stuff out there and seeing what's going to stick. Right. No matter what you have to say about Judith Regan and how much you like or don't like her, if she's got the evidence, she's got the evidence, and it is a criminal matter, and it will be a huge deal for Giuliani. The thing that remains to be explained by people who are defending News Corp here is why Rupert Murdoch was so shocked, so morally outraged all of a sudden by the O.J. Simpson book deal. I but mean, Dan, that's the thing that strains credulity, that he would have okayed it and then been shocked by it. It does look like they threw her under the bus on that you, deal to make her look you bad. You have to understand Stand, Dan, the only thing from a legal standpoint, I would encourage everyone to focus on the legal. The only thing we have right now on the table, the networks are running wild with this. All we have are the allegations of one very, very shaky and apparently very, very biased witness. She claims there's evidence. There's a prosecutor who claims there's evidence. I would say to Rachel Maddow, whom, although we disagree, I regard as a fine journalist, be careful to not end up being the Dan Rather of 2008, getting way, way, way out in front of a story based on only only yeah. one very biased then, and then very shaky just, witness. Yeah. Wait, could I just say yeah. there is a legal document other than the lawsuit? Can there I is, jump in here? Hang on, wait a sec. Wayne's going to finish. There is the Bernie Carrick indictment. The Bernie Carrick indictment, you can see counts in that indictment that clearly come from Judith Regan. I mean, there is a $75,000 payment that, so, she, that is made to Bernie Carrick that is deposited in a corporate account that nobody knew existed. It turns out there was a half million dollars deposited in this account on which he paid no taxes based on the indictment, but, that information is probably the information that the executives at News That's an interesting point. Charlie, you wanted to get in. I'm sorry. Yeah, and, you know, it's good advice for all of us is to, to remember that a person is is uh, not guilty until proven whatever. Uh, but, <laughs> yeah. But, um, you know, bear in mind that we're talking about uh, Fox News Channel um, and uh, the, the history here is not not at all uh, good. As well, and far we've as got the internal memos as well, Charlie. I mean, and, and for example, that, that one of their internal memos said Bush's political <laughs> courage and tactical cunning are worth noting in our reporting uh, through the day. Uh, this coming from their news director. Um, you know, again, it was goes... that uh, John Moody. Yeah, uh, that's right. Uh, yeah, yeah, John Moody. Uh, uh, but I don't want to. Takes... I don't want to get too much into who does what at Fox News. Yeah. I mean, let's keep let's let's keep well, this right, to bear, the. Bear, yeah, go ahead. Bear in mind uh, that um, uh, you know, Britt Hume has referred uh, to uh, to Roger Ailes as a person who. Uh, not only uh, uh, wants to beat his competition, right. he wants but, to okay. but, 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 but there's something but, more than at, 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 at stake here, Wayne, and, and that is the notion that, okay, we know Fox News is right-wing, okay? Everyone here on this panel knows that, that Fox News perpetuates a right-wing agenda. Not every reporter, not every anchor, but on the whole, the network does it, period. There is no debate about that. It is something else to say that they are advocating for a particular Republican candidate, and that one being Rudy Giuliani. Well, see, I, I've never believed that. that I'm, I actually disagree with the premise. I don't believe Fox is a right-wing network. I believe is it a network that engages in business relationships with particular candidates. Now, they tend to do that more with Republicans than they do with Democrats, but look at the relationship with Blair. I mean, you know, Blair supports the war, but in many ways he's a liberal in his own country. So I don't think it's ideology so Dan, much. 
much the as thing I would, they have a business relationship I with Rudy Giuliani. I, 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 I don't, are, are I don't you buy kidding? the business relationship part. <laughs> well, I, mean, I, I think they're so smart about business over there. But, Rachel, well, we're, we're I, think talking, it, I think if you watch Fox News, it is inevitable that an objective observer will come to the conclusion that they are right wing. Well, you're okay? right, and, Dan. You're and, right. And, but the and, issue and, is. And, and, let, let me get Rachel so, finally. Yeah. That may be a business decision on their part to do that. They may have decided to, to promote a right wing agenda in order to capture a right wing yeah. audience and therefore lock up a niche. Uh, on the that, other hand, it may... has really serious implications for our democracy yeah. when they pick one candidate or they pick Final one candidate. Final 10 party seconds. And not uh, that, that might have been Rupert Murdoch's goal, but with Roger Ailes, we're talking about a party loyalist, and this is is what he is doing. All right, Brickian. I got to wrap it up. Okay. Wayne Barrett, Rachel Maddow, Charlie Rena, Jack Berkman, thanks a lot. Appreciate it.